Okay, here's our hero one more time, uh, suspended by the pulley uh, with a rope over the pulley inclined at an angle theta. Initially, there's a force F that's just enough there to hold the monkey stationary. But then suddenly, the force is increased to 2.5 times the initial value, or 2.5 F. So the question, two questions, what's the initial force F? And secondly, uh, what is the, um, when the force is increased, what is the acceleration of this uh, unwitting passenger vertically upwards? So um, to answer the first question, we need to look, as we did before in the previous example, at the uh, free body diagram of the rope, basically. And we can see that we can see that the um, tension in the rope where the monkey once was, we cut the rope and replaced it with the, the tension force that exists there, is acting vertically downward, and that's got to be equal to the weight of the monkey. That, that's the effect that was revealed when we cut the rope. Uh, then the continuous rope goes around the pulley, and then the force F is at an angle theta. Uh, well, it turns out it doesn't really matter what angle theta is, as long as uh, it's such that the that the rope goes around the pulley. Uh, in any case, because the tension in the rope has to be the same, then the force on the free end F is the same as the um, the weight of the monkey, uh, mg. So the answer to the first question is if we have a, a force equal to, uh, exactly equal to mg, then we'll have just enough force to hold the monkey still. Now in the second part, suddenly, suddenly that uh, force is increased to 2.5 times its initial value. So it goes to 2.5 times f or 2.5 times mg. So uh, in this case we need to consider the free body diagram of our uh, perilous passenger uh, and taking into account the information that we've already learned. And that is that the tension in the rope has to be the same and so if we pull on the free end, if we pull on the free end with a force 2.5 f then there's a force of 2.5 F uh, exerted on the, the other end of the, the rope. So the tension is equal to 2.5 times F, and then the force uh, due to the weight of the passenger is uh, equal to mg. So now if we look at this as a dynamic situation, understanding that um, with this imbalance of forces there will be a net acceleration, we write that the sum of the forces in the y direction is equal to the mass times the acceleration in the y direction. So if we take the positive y direction to be upwards, then we can write the forces as 2.5 2 times F, that's the tension, minus mg, uh, that's got to equal the mass times the acceleration. Now, we knew from before, <laughs> in the first part, that F is actually equal to mg. That's the, the, the amount that we have to have to hold the monkey stationary. So if we substitute F equals mg uh, into this relationship, uh, 2.5 mg minus mg gives us 1.5 mg, and that's equal to mass times acceleration. So we find out it doesn't matter how fat the monkey is, um, the acceleration that the passenger will experience will be exactly um, 1.5 times the acceleration due to gravity. Um, so this, uh, this ends the second, uh, the third example, the, the first example of a dynamic uh, non-equilibrium.